Okay, my name's Tony Adams. I was commissioned to create this piece of work, the clock here. For me, it represents the process uh, of the hospital uh, recovery, and hopefully it's self-evident. Uh, I've made it in a figurative way, without any kind of uh, abstraction to it. It's, it should really say, speak for itself, hopefully. The base of the sculpture represents coming into the hospital in a distressed way. It's actually made from salvage copper, which has been distressed over the years. And the upper figure represents the recovery process, made from fresh, bright, new copper, culminating in the release of a flock of butterflies uh, into the fresh air in the world. It's not something you just do lightly, or something you do on a whim. Uh, it's got to be right for the site. Uh, it's got to be the right piece in the right place. It's certainly in the right place. It's a beautiful location for it. I've put a lot of thought into what I've actually come up with. Just hopefully people will enjoy seeing it and it will enhance the, uh, the atmosphere. I think of trying to make hospitals real places that have some meaning to them so that it is not just a sterile environment. I think things which people can focus on, things which people find attractive and which draw their attention are really important and I think it's about us seeing that the people here are important and that we see this as being a, an important space for people and somewhere where it's just not about being sick but it's also about looking at the future and about recovery and I think that's particularly important about this piece of art that we're seeing today. The artwork's called Imago curious name it basically means about metamorphosis and it's about recognizing that the imago is like the adult form and the idea of this piece of work is the development the metamorphosis to the release like the recovery process to the adult form of recovered person as uh, evidenced by the butterflies escaping into the sky we generally find that this is a nice place to work, it's a more comfortable place to work, it's got space, it's got light, it's got interest. We move around inside it probably more than we do in some other hospitals. And I think that having a piece of art like this, what I hope is that as people are going past, they'll suddenly catch it in their eye and it'll, they'll stop and they'll think about it. And we obviously hope that people will like it and enjoy it and gain some sort of thoughts from it and benefit from it. The process which started four years ago when we, start, we started originally looking at the arts programme for this building and, and the importance of arts and health and how that, how that improves our, our service users' lives. This particular piece of commission started about 12 months ago uh, with a conversation with the artist and uh, some staff, so Noreen and, and Steve, uh, Dr Steve O'Brien, to have a, a chat about what we might want in this viewing, viewing garden. When we started to look at building the new hospital, we felt that the inclusion of art was integral to that building. But not just having a modern new building, but having a, a building that made you feel better just in its being. And the impar importance of art in all our lives. So just because you're in a, a mental health hospital shouldn't mean you don't have access to those things by their very nature, such as art, that make you feel better as a human being. I hope that this particular piece of art will provide service users, carers, visitors and staff a feeling of hope. Um, we wanted a piece that, that in its very being talked about recovery and that feeling of moving upwards and moving in, in, in recovery was something we wanted. So I'm hoping that that's what it will do, that everybody who passes it will look at it and see, see that feeling of, of a journey of recovery from coming into the hospital unwell um, to going out in a, in a situation where you're on your journey to recovery.